Hey man, I'm opening your door. I've been knocking for a while, but no nobody answered. I just came to get my tracksuit, man. Yeah, it's over here, man. Go over here. Oh, okay. Where are you? I'm on the table, bro. Look. See? You're... You're a plant now. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Why are you a plant? Oh, this is a long story. Well, first, I just dressed up like a plant, you know, for the cosplay. I'm a plant, boy. Oh. <laughs> but that didn't work too well. I wanted to really be a plant. So then I learned the ninjutsu art to become a plant. And, uh, yeah. That's where I am right now. I'm a plant. No, I, I said, why are you a plant? Oh, oh, Piranha Plant's out, you know? I've just been, like, a big fan of him. I just want to, you know, be him. Cool, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Just gonna go get my tracksuit then. Wait, can can you at least water me, please? It's it's been like a day. Yeah, grab, please. Oh my God, thank you so much. You are an angel sent from heaven. Yeah, just right, right on top. Yeah, right, just right on top. You got it. No pressure. Uh, oh yeah. Oh please, yeah. Please don't do that. Sorry. Uh, didn't mean to soil your day. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> Piranha Plant, man. This is a character that we've all learned to love, but when we first heard it, let's be honest, a lot of us were caught off guard. What? Petey Piranha? We're like looking at Sakurai like, hey, Sakurai, Waluigi, Gino, Banjo-Kazooie, come on, throw us a bone, give us something that we would want. You got all these polls, you got all this data, and then you just whoopity do whip up this plant that looks like that guy from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this plant is iconic and has been around since basically the first Mario, but that doesn't change the fact that, well, a lot of people have been around since the first Mario. Do they deserve a spot in Smash? Ah! Anyway, it's too late for that. He's here, and he's great. I keep saying he, that is so my bad. Apparently, this plant is a she. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? I'm such an idiot. It's 2019, of course it's a she. Anyway, Piranha Plant is the first DLC character, and this is a free DLC for everybody that bought the game before a certain time period, and I know majority of us got it when they came out and got Piranha Plant and went to our emails and plugged in that code, but for all the people that were unfortunate enough to just buy Smash like right now, uh, too bad, so sad, guess you gotta pay money, loser. For the rest of us winners that got Piranha Plant, go ahead and try her online with your friends in person or even in classic mode where you're gonna face the dragon from Monster Hunter because that makes sense. And of course, Piranha Plant's Final Smash is summoning Petey Piranha. Petey Piranha! A much more iconic character that's actually been in, I don't know, Mario Tennis, Mario Soccer, pretty much every Mario game. Now, how many games has Piranha Plant been in? Hmm. As a usable character? Exactly, zero. You know, I'm not even gonna get mad anymore, Sakurai. This is your decision, and I'm gonna get to Elite Smash with this plant just to prove a point, to prove that I can be good at anything you throw at me. If you wanna turn a Goomba into a character, so be it. I will be the best Goomba player. And since there's very few Piranha Plant players, wow, say that three times fast, Piranha Plant player, Piranha Plant, phew. Okay, and since there's very few Piranha Plant players, that makes me one of the best. So as a master, go ahead and sit back, relax, and let's learn how to play Piranha Plant, shall we? It needs water so it can grow. So you take a look at Piranha Plant and you think, how in the heck does this plant move? It's just a plant inside a pot. Well, surprisingly, Piranha Plant is pretty fast. Look at those little legs, little skitters, it's pretty funny. Now, Piranha Plant doesn't have any hands or feet, so she kind of has to use different parts of her body to really, uh, you know, get in there, including the pot. And this pot is a powerful little pot. You're gonna want to pound people with this powerful pot all the way into the ground, stomp them with the powerful pot, dash attack with the powerful pot. It's just this pot is powerful, people, please. And while your down smash allows for you to spin the pot around and, you know, get a big kill with it, I believe one of the most powerful of of her smash attacks has to be your forward smash where you use your head and then it turns into a black head no not like that thing that's on your head i'm talking about like a it turns into like a black spiky head it's weird just know that it's pretty powerful and it comes out kind of fast so this is something that is very useful for getting kills the plant has finished its meal and resets itself for its next victim 
but the up smash. Oh my gosh, I love this up smash. It has an interesting hitbox where you can actually hit people from the side, so they don't necessarily need to be on top of you. They can just be kind of really close to you or near your head, and as long as they're within that hitbox, it's a kill. So when you're not using your head or your pots, you're going to be using your little leaf hands to do a couple things. You can just crazy quick jab or do some tilt attacks like little swipes and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's so strange though because you have this really tiny range. So when you're trying to grab, it's like a T-Rex trying to grab somebody. You need to get pretty close. But his grabs, they're pretty strong. And I do believe his up grab can kill at pretty good percentages. Now, his air attacks though, I absolutely love most of these. Your forward air, you just spin your head towards the enemy and knock him off the map. Your neutral air, you spin your leaves like your Ivysaur except better. But that back air, man, that back air kills at very low percentages and it just causes a fiery explosion. Like, think about it, where does this fire come from? You're a plant. I mean, I don't know the anatomy of the Mushroom Kingdom, but somebody, like Captain Toad, somebody explain this to me. Now your up air, you use your head to hit them right off the top and you can kill people pretty quickly. I guess you can use it to get ahead of the enemy. <laughs> Now your down air though, apparently it spikes, I have not been able to pull it off, I tried a lot, I even tried with a buddy of mine and I don't know, I think there's a sweet spot but I can't land it and that's okay if you can't do it either, you're not a noob because if I can't do it, you don't have to. Now because you're a stupid plant, you have no range. I mean, like I mentioned before, you got little T-Rex hands with your leaves, you can't touch anything. But luckily for you, you got a couple of special moves that are gonna help close the gap, you know? Let us start with the most important and the best one, and that is the spike ball, your neutral special. Just press B and you get to push out a ball, and then you can let go of B and then you'll suck it back up. However, if you choose a specific direction, you will throw that ball and hit somebody with it. And this thing, it kills. I am talking 90% of the games I won is because I ended up killing somebody with the spike ball. It is such a useful tool for throwing somebody off, you know, just hitting them from a little bit of a distance, but most importantly, it is the king of gimping tools. Now for some reason, when you're using the spike ball in the air, it slows you down from falling, so you can actually use this as an option to uh, get people off the edge and get them away from you so you can safely recover. Now speaking of recovery, oh my god. Piranha Plant's recovery is bonkers. This thing can take you from like the bottom right corner of the map all the way back onto the stage. It's crazy. Plus, it does a little bit of damage, so it could be useful when people are trying to, you know, try to block the edge from you. You could just, you know, get them a little bit of those leave hits. They're gonna really leave you alone if you get my drift. <laughs> Kill me. Now, Piranha Plant may have those fire abilities that I mentioned recently, but she also has the ability to poison people. You can charge up your poison to a certain amount and then let out this disgusting spray that does an incredible amount of damage to people and especially their shields. You don't have to charge it though, you can just spam it out. That girl is poison! poison. Never trust a big butt in a smile, that girl is poison! <clears throat> anyway, her down B has the ability to hit people from a distance because it extends her neck pretty humongously. The stem is long and huge and uh, the move overall is not the smartest move you can use. It's pretty easy to kind of predict. Don't use it too much. Use it more like a mix-up tool. Don't use it as like a main tool in your kit. It's not the best. But it can get some cheeky kills. I decided from now on I'm gonna make these pro and cons things pretty short and simple because they seem kind of repetitive so let me get the gist out of the way. Pros. The spike ball. It's amazing. Look at a quick montage of me killing people at the end with just the spike ball. A lot of the moves come out very quickly and have very little landing lag, making them pretty awesome. Piranha Plant can get kind of boring after a while because there's not that many options you have with their kit. You have like three options, Spike Ball or Spike Ball, or maybe you can, I don't know, Spike Ball. Ranged characters can have kind of a field day with her as well because, you know, don't have that much reach. However, kind of a quick pro tip, you can actually just duck and you go right into your pot and they can't hit you. A lot of characters like Fox and some of the arrows that Pit and stuff throw, it's kind of cool. The sun helps plants by giving light. 
So I would put this character in like the B list. It's not the worst character, not the best character. It's just a little bit better than like someone, I don't know, someone like Ganondorf definitely, but not as good as someone like Pikachu. So pick it up, pretty fun, pretty easy to play. But let me know what you guys think about Piranha Plant. Let me know in the comments down below if he's really OP, really meh, or just like, you know, pretty balanced, a balanced character. Good job, Nintendo. You made a balanced DLC character. Let's hope Joker is like that, huh? Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do more of these, right? Blank for noobs in the comments comments but don't literally write blank and with that i'll catch you later you noob here we go last month's patron shout outs we about to do this a little bit differently yeah yeah Jay and Baba, Evan Davis, Polly, yeah. Overwatch, Depression, yeah. Marcos, yeah. B Crap of Vicky, uh, Temo, Abastur, Max, <laughs> Mick, Nicholas, and the rest of the big boys here on this list. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna join the Patreon? The link is down below. down below. Or you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, The Macro Show. Yeah. 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 Uh, shout out to Nikki Jakey for inspiring me to come up with this rap thing at the end. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do this every time, but yeah, Nikki Jakey, if you uh, don't like me doing this, I'll stop. Just let me know, man. Petey Piranha!